Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Island Dragonfall. Alrighty. Should have probably loaded first. Not to remember to do that next time because it takes uh, a bit to load. The Cruise Bazaar. Alright, last time we were elected the leader of the team and we were about to check. Uh, Monica's computer. Which is what I will do now. Your workstation and mission computer. Your command center for your team's operations. And your last link to the memory of Monica Safer. Her thoughts and words live on in the machine. At times it's easy to forget she's gone. Alright, first. New messages, no unread messages. Okay, let's access Monica's team's personnel files. Eh, of course, of course, we'll start with us first. The image of Monica smiles on the screen. That's a pretty nice uh, character portrait, by the way. I did a really good job with him. Phoenix, my secret weapon. I've run enough with Phoenix to know that she's trustworthy. Good in a fight too. But beyond all that, it's good just to see her again. There aren't many people left from the old days, far too few, and Phoenix, she smiles, well, she was always the best of them. She takes a deep breath, then shakes her head with a sigh. With a sigh. God that was happy, mental note, re-record this before Phoenix gets a chance to see it. At any rate, if anything happens to me, it's good to know that she'll be on hand to fill my shoes. It's not what I get would want, but it's what would be best for the team. Alright, Amsel. Paul, a talented and well-connected fixer with contacts all over Berlin. She paused for a moment. He's more to me than that, of course, but that's neither here nor there. Dietrich, one of my dearest friends and a summon of tremendous power. A good man to have at your side in a fight. I tend to use Dietrich in a support role. His magic can dramatically bolster the combat effectiveness of a frontline fighter like uh, Iger or Glory, but when the chips are down, he's more than capable of dishing out punishment on his own. Can't think of much else to say about Dietrich, just a good reliable guy. She pauses for a moment, when she speaks again you can hear a hint of guilt in her voice. She's getting a little long in the tooth for a shadow runner. I'm not sure how many more years he has ahead of him in this game, but I'll be happy to run with him as long as he is able. We'll see I suppose. Glory. Glory, our damage enigma. I've known her for almost five years now, but I don't think I'll ever really know her. Somehow I doubt that anyone will. On operational levels, Glory is solid. That chrome of hers may be old, but gets the job done. I've seen her take a troll apart with her hand razors, and when her adrenal pump is running, she moves faster than anyone have ever seen. On top of all that, Glory's competent field medic. I know where she learned medicine, yet another question mark, but she spats me up at least a dozen times, between her skill with the medkit and Dietrich's magic, we haven't had much trouble with serious injuries. And in our line of work, that's a luxury. That's really all I want to say about Glory, she keeps it herself, very well talks, okay. I've seen this kind of behavior before, of course. Something bad. Happening here past. Deep down, I think she'll st she's still running from it, and I'm sure that her cyberware ties into it somehow. I don't know, maybe some days she'll open up to me. I'd like to think that she will. We'll see, I suppose. Iger. Iger, what to say about Iger? She's smart, she's strong, and she's one hell of a soldier. In a close-up fight, I've seen her take apart an entire security team with her shotgun and she's even more dangerous at range. It's a hardy thing having a, a trained sniper on the team. All in all, we enjoy one hell of an advantage thanks to her. Unfortunately, there are some disadvantages too. All of that military training has left her, how to say it, rigid, I suppose. Unlike the others, Iger isn't content to go with the flow. She wants lists and maps and timetables, she wants a hierarchy, and she wants it formalized. I don't think she realizes it, by giving her what she wants will destroy this team. Glory and Dietrich wouldn't put up with it more than a day or two. I know that I wouldn't, but she keeps on pushing, all the same. Monica shakes her head, one of these days is 
this situation is going to come to a head. I just hope that it doesn't happen soon. Alrighty. <clears throat> All messages. Vid, regarding Heloise. The screen flickers to life and the Mulligal face appears. Her hands are on her hips and she's wearing a wry smile. Hey Ace, if you're reading this it means you have either died or stepped down. Hopefully the latter, but probably the former. Not many shadow runners make it to retirement age. In any case, I'm sure that you'll do a fine job in the role. If you need anything, talk to Paul. He's a good man and he knows how important it is to me that you take my place. One last thing, Ace. Eiger might cause you some problems. In fact, I think it's fair bet she has already caused you some problems. Just remember, she brings something to this team that nobody else does. You want her on your side. My advice to you is this, hold your own with her. If she pushes you, push back. Don't try to batter her up with flattery. <clears throat> She'll see right through it. Most of all, do what you can to earn her respect. She'll never be satisfied following you if you don't give her a better reason to than because Monica said so. I have faith in you, Ace. It's up to you to justify that faith. She half turns away from the camera, then returns her attention to you. The image is uncanny lifelike. Oh, and by the way, Ace, if you bought this, I'm coming back and holding your ass. I mean that. Mm, Alright, jobs. Pending and active jobs? Nothing. Uh, no to complete jobs. Nothing. We haven't done anything. Sutherland BBS. Post pay data for sale. I don't think we have any. Search. Uh, Thread. Killer in Seattle. Anyone else reading this? It has got a lone star contact and they can't catch the guy. This Emerald City Reaper has been on a spree and so far no one has a clue. Pathetic. If someone like that happened on my block, some vigilantes will have tracked him down and stopped him. Shows how good state payroll caps are. Maelstrom. Who says? Say he. I don't have any leads. Tolstoy. Ha! I'll be saddled next week. Forward any info you have about this a Reaper and I'll see about taking him out for a date with my Walter MA 2100. I'm sure Lone Star will have a fat reward waiting for whoever blasts this goon. Pro shot. Who is Blutz? I think that's the name. I'm still recovering the logs. This hot dogger just trashed my LAN trade hosting server. Sounds like some kid pissed over his cartoons getting cancelled. Left a bunch of garbage files all over my discs. And I'll be cleaning them up all day. They should make you pass a damn bus test before you are allowed to take in this town. Lumens. Step up your security. Write some white uh, ice programs if you can. At least make the kids here stand on end for a few hours next time he tries it. Tolstoy. Just make sure that your ice is quick. Heavy hitting ice is no good if you can't catch up with an intruder. A fact that I can take advantage on a regular basis. Clockwork. Always running, eh, uh, CW? The smiling bided. Like Clockwork. <laughs> if it were finished, I did have an uh, ice on the thing. Tracked the whole down. Grocery store across the street was piggybagging on my LAN and they left an unsecured jack point in the bathroom stall. Old as hell maintenance jack in a fuse box. And my security ignored it. Mystery solved. Shadowland is not your personal tech support board, Lumens. Glad to see you fix your own problem. Only way you're going to learn, Milestorm. Alright. I think that's it. Cool. What is our uh, objective? Take the U-Band to Dragon Gipe. Alright, let's do that then. Do we talk to them or just leave? Yeah, alright. The, the optional complete. Uh, yes. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing... I like uh, that the high dad has uh, exit to the sewers and the... sewers, to the under... Uh, under rail, I guess. And the... car there, but for some reason we are going that way to take it. Weird. I like the uh, safe house in general. It's really nice. Mm, we can talk to him now. 
At the sound of your approach, the orc turns to face you. He wears a severe expression, but there is a kindness in his eyes. Couldn't duck elf, can I help you with something? Couldn't keep overhearing your conversation. I didn't overhear your conversation, but whatever. Are you running a charity? Yes, it's not much. Such as, give me specifics. In the past several years, I have established a shelter where the dispossessed can sleep, a soup kitchen to feed the hungry, and a library for the people of the Cruise Bazaar to better themselves. A good start, Samuel. You mustn't be so hard on yourself. There are limits to what one man, even determined man, can accomplish. This is true. Thankfully, some of the residents that have helped over the years have come back to help me. Got 15 assorted dogs and trolls from all around the Cruise Bazaar working with me. Uh, stock the library shelves, okay, extraordinary individual, they are my inspiration to continue forward. She beams at the compliment. From her body language, it's clearly she idolizes Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer, really? Great uh, footballer. That. Anyway, uh, that you can... Uh, uh, Alright. 15 assorted orcs and trolls. Does that mean that other races aren't welcome within, within your organization? Let's take a rather narrow view of what we do. Yes, it is true that Mazessas are all members of the Goblinoid races. It's also true that before they accepted my help, they were thieves, gangers, and deadbeats. Uh, that's not because they were bad people, that's because of those of us with Goblinoid traits are feared, mistreated, and denied gainful employment by a society that hit us. I hire only Goblinoids because mainstream human society has created a need for me to hire only Goblinoids. Okay, I deserve a workplace. All that being said, our services are available to all who won't turn a desperate person away regardless of the person meta type. Even humans, the most privileged of all races, are welcome to adore. Isn't that what's most important? I'll reserve judgment. You are happy people and that's what's important. He not slightly. Good of you to understand. Uh, I don't have money for donations actually. Uh, Alright, I have a hundred yen, I guess. In any event, our shelter has some basic needs that desperately need to be filled. The walls of the shelters are not insulated, and new blankets would go a long way towards keeping our guests healthy. Uh, with 250 units, we could make the percents. Uh, I have a hundred. Alright. When I have more money, I'll come back, I guess. I need to get some money. What I'll do after I do a couple of runs. Alright, let's talk to, go to Doken Gibe, whatever the hell that name is. Assemble the team and travel to Das Kessel House. The Drag Pit, Das Kessel House Hotel and Nightclub, Crown Jewel of Dragon Keeper, the filthiest keys in Berlin. Opening the doors to ground level dance club is like bashing your head into a wall of sound. Flashing lights stab your eyes and the air is perfumed with cheap synthahol and engine grease. Everything in here is scrambled up to 11, a playground for the numb. Green Winter is someone in this building. You steal yourself for the sensory assault and step inside. The team makes a quick check of their weapons and follow you into the Das Kessel House. <coughs> Alright, yeah, I don't have anything else to take. Uh, I need to get better spells. But what can you do? Alright. Uh, no, I only have one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Alright, last on the case of Monica's clients, Green Winters. Let's save, and that's a nice music too. In general, the game has a nice OST. Hello. The troll working the door might be the shortest you have ever seen, and the thickest. Uh, his face is buried in a comic book. He looks up, gives you a cursory once over and size. Welcome to Dust Castle House, now under new management. Again. There's no cover, just go in and get your fix. There's a at the bar over there, he'll take care of you. He buries his nose back to his comic. 
high powered stun gun. Just please now, or you'll meet her zap. I'm looking for someone, maybe you know him. I doubt it, this place is filled with interesting people just dying to meet you, so go meet them. He's supposed to be some sort of F state activist, he calls himself Green Winders. He brothers, an F state activist? Why didn't you say so? Know him? No. Upon people at the bar, if someone starts trouble, I give them a taste of your zap. That's it, that's all I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, snarky. Alright, let's see what do we have here. The music out here on the floor is way too loud for comfort. The scene is going down on the bar is even louder. The dealer on duty stands impassively behind the bar, a desperate looking young woman is pleading with him, apparently to little effect. Alright, Silke, I'm going to explain how this works to you one more time. I get my cash, and you get your cram. No cash, no cram, period. But I need it, Kroner, come on. Jesus. Her words come out as a desperate whine, pale skin, sunken eyes, and a trembling blip all point to the early symptoms of withdrawal. And I have the cash, I totally do, it's up in my room. But you guys won't let me up there to get it. What else under new management, beautiful? You don't have a room anymore. Whatever was up there, you might as well forget about it. But, but that was all I had. And I, you know, I have to get right. Soon. Well, maybe we'll go on trade. Cram for services. Services? Understanding slowly shows on the young woman's face. Her eyes go wide. Come on, Kroner, you got to be fucking kidding me. Do you want the cram or not? She sets her jaw, a look of disgust on her pallid face. That ain't gonna happen, Summer. Not now, not ever. The bartender strikes. I give you about half an hour before the sex set in. When that happens, you know where to find me. He turns to another customer with a smirk, leaving a desperate young woman crumbled against the bar. Well, nice person. Of course, he's a drug dealer, so. What do you expect? Special bottle of scotch. At least fifty percent water. Can I take it? No. Okay. Silke. Talk to Silke. Silke looks up at you, a look of absent misery plastered across her face. Leave me alone, okay? I've got problems to deal with. Wow. Cram habits is rough enough to say, I know a place that can help you get clean if you are interested. Who said I wanted to seek anything? She gives you a sour look. Look around you, like what you see? Of course you don't. My life is better on Cram. Where would I ever go to stop? Uh, points at Kroner, do you want to wind up working for him? I'll tell you the same thing I told him, that ain't going to happen. Maybe not. But in order to keep feeding your habit, you'll eventually go on a while I'm doing something that you regret. Trust me in this. Stop it. Please just stop it. I don't need your help. And I don't want it. As strong as Silke's words are, her voice sounds unsure. From the way she's fidgeting, you can tell that she's, you've stuck a nerve. Charisma 3. You are near rock bottom, Silke. I don't have any bite. God damn it. I could have put some in. Can I put it now? No! Game is too smart for me. Fine. You are near rock bottom, Silke. When you hit it, you'll be nowhere to go but up. Yeah, maybe so. But what makes you think you are the one to help? Experience, but nobody can help you if you're not ready to help yourself. All at once, something changes in Silke's face. She averts her gaze and pauses for a long moment. Finally, she clears her throat and looks back at you. What you said, it makes a lot of sense. You're right, I need help. I'll take you up on that offer. I should probably tell you I've tried to clean up before, lots of time. Nothing really works out. Uh, take the tube to Cruise Bazaar. To the kids they call... To, to Cruise Berg. To the kids they call the Cruise Bazaar. Look for a man named Samuel Beckenbauer. He can help you. I'll do that. I will. Thank you. It's about time I left this place behind. I'll never see another corner again and it's too soon for me. Wish I could get my stuff back from the room first though. Stupid gang closing the whole hotel. Alright, let's ask her a few questions. 
I really that big will. Uh, I really need that money and I let some of things back there. Sure. My stuff should be up in room 3 or 4. That's where me and Nat, uh, Nadza and Sarah were staying at least, well, you know. Uh, so, what do you want to know? I need to get up in the hotel. How? I told to Frank he's the floor manager, he has an elevator key. He's over there on the VIP balcony. Okay. What about the gang that, that has taken over the hotel? Bad guys, I mean real bad guys. Alright, uh, the prices weren't too high, they never hustled me as long as I get buying. And you guys killed them when they took over, now I'm stuck dealing with hustles like Croner. The floor manager Frank had a thing for my girl Sarah, he was always coming on to her. Haven't seen her since the Kate takeover. Hmm, guys a real creep. Have you heard the name Green Green Winders? No? Oh wait, yeah. I bumped him to him here a few days ago. I remember because his name sounds like the kind of chewing gum. I don't think I remember seeing him leave, so he's probably holed up in his room. I'm pretty sure there's still some people up there. The ones that the gangers missed, I hear they locked themselves in. Uh, the second floor is security station. I've only had a decker. And I've heard stories about the penthouse level, something about a sealed vault. There's something really valuable in there, okay. Alright, get your stuff. I need to remember to do that. Also, let's spend some points. See if I can put some on bio because that comes a lot. Of course, I don't need to. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'll take three, and that's it. I'll start raising uh, other things. Alright. Talk to Frank, retrieve six belong gigs. Save. Alright, save. And end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time.